What exactly is gamification? If you're an instructional designer who's been on the internet in the past few years, you've probably heard of the term. Gamification can have a number of definitions, but I'm sure you get the point of it. To simply put it, the concepts use a competitive challenge to motivate participants to learn. Gamification is quickly branched into the government, cooperative learning and development, and to a variety of international markets. Many think of it as an advanced use of technological simulations or enhanced sequences but it is just as much of an instructional design framework as it is a development output. Using online games, especially business simulations, is a practical solution to develop practical management skills. Simulations and games can be integrated into every learning activity, but does that mean they should be? Building a game or simulation takes a great deal of time and resources. If the value added from the game doesn't justify costs, then a less expensive learning solution should be pursued. Additionally, many people play games for pleasure. Games tap into the brain's pleasure center and encourage players to return to the game frequently. However, how does this translate to work environments? Would this result in lost productivity for workers? Such downstream implications must be considered and weighed before building games and or simulations into curriculum. With that said, it is possible to include elements of gaming in e-learning designs without the exhaustive process of building a standalone game. For example, e-learning can have components of badging, point systems, and rewards in the form of more control for experienced learners. What makes games so enticing is the emotional engagement, the opportunities to problem solve, get immediate feedback, and the element of uncertainty.